I want to talk about the blessings that you will receive when you obey God. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 at the first verse. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Number two. In all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Number three. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. So wherever you are at, you will be blessed. Number four. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground. So the fruit of your body is kids, your babies, and the fruit of thy ground is crops things that you grow and the fruit of thy cattle the children of the cattle the increase of thy kind which are cows and the flocks of thy sheep number five blessed shall be thy basket in thy store let's go to the new living translation on this for number five Your fruit baskets and breadboards will be blessed. All right. Number six. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be in thou, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. So, wherever you go, you will be blessed. Number seven. The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. Amen. Number eight. The Lord shall command a blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thine hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Number nine. So it's pretty much saying the same exact things over and over again. Pretty much telling you Everywhere and everything you own and everywhere you go, it will be blessed. Okay, number nine. The Lord shall establish thee in holy people unto himself, as he hath sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. Number ten. And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. Number 11. These are the blessings of God right here. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, a lot of things. And the fruit of thy body, your children, and in the fruit of thy cattle, children of your cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, your crops, things that you grow, in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee. Number 12. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land, and his season, 
and to bless all the work of thy hand, and thou shalt lend unto and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. So God will bless you so much that you will lend to many people and not borrow. That's a blessing. Number 13. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. You will be on top. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath, as I just said. <laughs> if that thou hearkened unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. 14. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other guys to serve them. 15. Let me stop at 15. I'm going to read it. Actually, 15 all the way down to 68 talks about the curses. So, from 1 through 14, it talks about the blessings that you will receive if you obey God. So, I hope you guys understand everything. God bless.